Oh, hey, y'all. Welcome to Fatty Supple Hints, the show dedicated to helping you learn games good. Today, we are going to talk about all you need to know to jump into Sea of Thieves, and let's dive right on into it. Now, number five, the first thing I really want to talk to you guys about is character customization. Now, see if these have something a lot more unique than most games. Now, the loot grind for this game does really start out with just heavily going for the aesthetics of your character. Now, you can't really create your own character. What it kind of does is an infinite random selection. So right off the bat, you can see a, a, a plethora of different pirates that you want to be, and you can select some favorites and keep rolling some randomizations until you find some that are really good. But this is going to be where you get your base character from. So this could take a little while to get going, but once you do find that character that you want, then you go into towns and you know there's multiple vendors through. One that has all the like hats and hooks and peg legs, stuff like that. One has, you know, the instruments, the buckets, stuff like that. And you can really upgrade your character from that aspect. But to start off, there's not going to be like a character creation screen where you know fine tune it for, for a long time to get that perfect pirate. Coming in at number four. Now, the next thing that you're really going to want to know is how to make the most money. Now, I'm going to do a completely separate video on a deep dive on how to maximize the money that you're going to be collecting in Sea of Thieves. But to start out, what I really want to say is as you're doing quests, you know, there's three different kinds of quests that you can go on. I'll get into that in the next one. But when you're going on your quest, you need to look for the, the random moments that you can find. So when you see birds circling in the middle of the ocean, that means there's a sunken ship. That is always huge. There's always multiple things in there that you want to find. As you're exploring, look at nooks and cranny. You know, me and my buddy were on this island. We were looking for a buried treasure. And we were all just running around this island. And I happened to see under the stairs, just kind of tucked away, not even like in a hidden cave or buried or anything like that. But there was a chest just under those stairs. So, you know, make sure you're keeping a big eye out for that as well as skeleton forts. You know, when you're sailing the ocean and you see a giant scary uh, skull cloud off in the distance, that is going to be gold. So, you know, as you're just doing your normal thing, having some fun, you know, being scurvy sea dogs, look for those. That is going to be huge, huge for you. Coming in at number three. Now, I wanted to talk about quests and how they work. So when I started playing the open beta a while ago, I was kind of confused, didn't really know what to do, how to get things going. And I thought it was cool, though. It's still just the game is beautiful and a lot of fun to play, but I didn't really get this. So now that I've dived into it a little deeper, I've got it kind of down pat. I understand how this process works. Now, there are going to be three kinds of quests that you can get. One's going to be for the merchants, and you're going to pick up stuff for them, animals, goods, stuff like that. One is going to be finding buried treasure for the gold diggers, and then one's going to be fighting skeletons. So you can hold three quests at a time. You can go to any of them, pick up, you can pick up one from each of them, or you can pick up three from one person and just kind of go for it. Now, these don't actually activate when you pick them up. You can really only go for one quest at a time. So what you're going to want to do is when you get onto your boat, you're going to go to where the map room is, and there's going to be a desk, and that's where you place it down. And now when you place it down, it allows other players to read it and kind of see what quest the crew wants to do on a whole. Then you vote for it, and you have to vote for your own. It's not like you place yours down and it's like, nope, oh, I'm doing this one. So it's kind of, you know, that, like, democracy there. So when you place it down, you all have to vote. And once you do, then that's when the quest begins. And then again, the quests are going to be a little different. Sometimes they're going to tell you, hey, uh, the skeleton's rumored to be on this island. So you look at the map and you try to find that specific name. Some is going to be a picture of the island, and what you're going to have to do is look across the entire map until you find that island and can, you know, know where to go from there. And then uh, other ones are going to be some kind of riddle as well, and um, I'm going to dive into that a little bit deeper. But just know, uh, another quick pro tip, if it asks for paces, if you're looking at your compass and you use the right trigger, it will pace it out actually for you. So that's a great, unique tool for that as well. Um, but that will should help you kind of, you know, know what to do for quests and get you through them. Coming in at number two. Now, sailing is a huge, huge portion of Sea of Thieves. You know, you're gonna spend almost a vast majority of your time inside a boat and sailing. So there are gonna be two tricks here that I'm just gonna tell you about real quick to kind of help you get going. Now, first off, it can be incredibly difficult to go straight. You know, you're constantly turning the wheel one way, turning the wheel the other way, trying to get to go straight. And the, the trick I learned after several hours of actually like, uh, 
sailing around and trying to figure out how to you know best do that is one handle on the ship's wheel will be different it will be like laced with some gold or something it's gonna be shaped a little differently and as long as that's gonna be in that middle section you know it, like aligned with the mast you're gonna be going in a straight line so you know it's huge to keep going in a straight line especially once you get into combat now speaking of combat all the cannons are going to be on the sides of the boat. So if you're going to be coming up against, you know, um, a skeleton fortress or another boat, you're going to need to be going uh, side to side with them. Now this can be kind of difficult because, you know, especially with, you know, skeleton fortresses, you're going to be booking it there to get as close as you can. So you can actually get to a spot where you can park your boat get onto the shore and not get it just blasted to smithereens so the best way to do this is going to be what's called a handbrake turn now what you want to do is basically use the momentum of your boat and the ink the anchoring to keep it to one point to swivel around that so what, what i'm kind of talking about and I'll, I'll show you an example here is uh me and my buddy were going after this the single boat and we were trying to get almost like ram it we got a couple shots because it was you know perpendicular to us so we kind of go past it we get a couple shots and what we do is we drop the anchor and we turn the wheel as hard as you can and you can even turn the wheel to start off for uh it's first but really it's going to be that the anchor hitting the ground that's going to stop you in place but then you're going to kind of swerve around and that's when you're going to get side to side now you can pick up that anchor again and keep going but it's going to help you immensely to kind of line up those shots to get side by side and to be a little bit more nimble this can also be a really good tactic if you're going for like straight into a rock or you know you're going to be the titanic and hit an iceberg what you can do is you can drop the anchor really quick and not just stop you in place but if you crank that wheel you're just going to kind of turn and you're going to level like straighten out and you're going to be able to miss that and it is huge you know getting really good with sailing and attacking other boats is going to be big especially when you have big hulls trying to get back to the main island Now for my number one tip, and this is going to be to hide your booty. Now, in Sea of Thieves, every time you collect something and you're trying to get it back to, you know, turn in the quest or whatnot, you can be attacked at any moment by players. And not only can you get attacked, but you can also just get kind of robbed as well. Uh, that's something I kind of noticed is uh, people hanging around some, some of the bigger islands just waiting for people and not always just to strike them. You know, they'll wait until you go turn in a single quest and then hop onto your boat and you know a lot of times i've seen players just kind of getting onto your boat sitting on your chest and going on to the next thing you know trying to speed up that process but what happens is when you can only turn in one thing at a time someone's going to hop on your boat and grab it and turn it in for themselves even though you're just that close so what you really want to do is you know take it to a more unique spot you know if you're on the small boat there's a place behind the table that you can store the map table to place it there you can go up onto the mast and place it there you know maybe even on the very tip of your boat something just out of the ordinary to you know keep it hidden and make it a little bit more difficult for the people to find or at least you know by yourself some time with them looking around so you can maybe get back and kind of stop them at that point um, also another just a recommendation is don't do too much at once uh, I'm going to go into uh, my next video which is gonna be out here in a couple days on how to make the most money and a lot of that's gonna involve around you know doing more than just one thing so this is gonna raise that risk up a little bit so if you're gonna take a little bit more risky path with that you're gonna make sure you want to you know protect your booty the best you can as always thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys liked it don't forget to show that like button a little bit of love and hit that subscribe button and if you guys want any more tips tricks you know leave a comment down below let me know what you guys are struggling with also don't forget to follow me on instagram and my facebook all the links are down there below and i will catch you guys next time peace